This tutorial walks you through creating a filter to provide a real-time stream of social interactions relating to the Starbucks brand. Go to datasift.com in a web browser and log into your account. You need to enable one or more data sources before writing a filter. In this example, we will enable Tumblr. Click the Data Sources tab to see all possible sources. Some sources are restricted to accounts on premium subscriptions. These are displayed with an Inquire button. I'll activate Tumblr. I'll click Activate and complete the license form and click Agree. Augmentations enrich the interaction and are added by the Datasift platform to give context to the message. I'll select the next page to see some augmentations. These are shown with a purple tag. Sources have a blue tag. Now the Tumblr data source is enabled, you can create a filter. Click the Streams tab and click the Create Stream button. Give your new filter a name. I'm going to call mine Starbucks and you can also add a description. I'll select the graphical editor Query Builder and start editing. Click Create New Filter to add a new condition. The top row displays sources. Select the Tumblr icon to use the Tumblr source. The next row of options opens with lots of Tumblr information types. I'll select Body to filter on Tumblr posts. I'm going to filter for the word Starbucks. It's not case sensitive and I'll leave the operator as contains words. This will match every Tumblr interaction which has the word Starbucks anywhere in the post. When you're finished, click Save and Preview. To add another filter condition, click Create New Filter. This time, we'll create a condition based on the sentiment of the interactions, looking for positive posts. I'll select Augmentations, Salience, Content, Sentiment. We want any level of positivity, so I'll select a value that is greater than 1 and click Save and Preview. Now we have two filter conditions, we can define how they work together. All of the following means we get interactions if both filter conditions are matched. Click Save and Close. A summary of the configured stream is shown along with the cost in data processing unit hours. The next step is to preview the stream of interactions matched by the filter. I'll click the Live Preview button. In the summary of sources, check that Tumblr is listed. and Sentiment, which is our augmentation that we've selected in our filter. I'll click the Play button and we'll see who's talking about Starbucks on Tumblr. Within a couple of seconds, interactions will start appearing. I'll pause the stream and check the augmentation icons below each message. The smiley shows they are comments with a positive sentiment. For more detailed information, mouse over the interaction and a bug appears. Click on the interaction and a debug window opens that contains the Tumblr data and all the extra augmented data provided by the Datasift platform, including language, sentiment and the Tumblr data. Well done! You're looking at a stream of interactions that match a filter you configured with two logical conditions.